About a year back, I was tasked with helping Coach Davis film a documentary on what it takes to become a UFC star. To go from fighting in shopping center parking lots to fighting in Vegas in front of thousands of excited fans. Our first stop was Action Avenue, an amateur MMA promotion known for providing its small audience with big fights. A young prospect named Steven Brown had been finishing everyone who stepped in the cage with him, and he was being paired up against a guy who was making his MMA debut. What we didn't know was that Brown's opponent was far from just another can waiting to be crushed. See, Brown's opponent, Desi the Merciless Martin, was a Juco football prospect. At one point, he was projected to be one of the top running backs in the nation. Unfortunately, he was sidelined with a knee injury that put an end to his football hopes. One thing you'll quickly learn about Martin in this series is that where he lacks in skill and fight IQ, he makes up for in tenacity and drive. At the end of the night, one thing was clear. We went looking for a fighter and we found one. It just wasn't who we initially anticipated. Desi had the heart of a fighter already, and with Coach Davis now in his corner, his potential was immeasurable. And it didn't take long for the wins to start racking up. Every fighter that entered the cage with Desi was overwhelmed by his high pace and dangerous explosiveness. And when you win in impressive fashion, people take notice. In this case, UFC President Dana White. Desi's hard work on the amateur circuit quickly earned him a spot on Dana White's Contender Series. Across from him would be Abraham Bradshaw, a skilled kickboxer with a 6-1 professional record. Win this fight in impressive fashion, and he was guaranteed a ticket to the big show. The game plan for Bradshaw was simple. His lone defeat had come from a skilled grappler. We had already shown Dana our impressive stand-up, now we needed him to see how well-rounded we were on the mat. Oof, throwing a lot of these spinning back kicks to the body. Martin's got to be careful here with his stamina. Really good strikes here, just throwing straights straight down the pipe, mixing it up, the low kicks in and outside. Oh, and the high kick, he's dropped Bradshaw. Bradshaw is down and eating some nasty ground and pound, that's it. It's over. It is over. There we go. Desi Martin, impressive first round knockout victory. Will this be enough to earn him a ticket to the UFC? We will have to see. And there it is. Desi Martin is entering the UFC. Not a huge contract, just 13 to show, 13 if you win. You can double that, of course. A contract bonus of a knockout machine. If we keep putting these knockouts together three in a row, we'll get some of that bonus. Our first opponent in the UFC will be Yancey Medeiros. Not an easy fight at all. This is a guy who's already gone up against top 10 opponents like Donald Cowboy Cerrone, of course, coming short. And that one, if we're able to win, we immediately prove that we are a contender and a prospect in this lightweight 155 pound UFC division. Desi Martin making his first walk, looks a little nervous, but I'm sure he will be fine. He's got Coach Davis who's completely re-innovated everything he knows about MMA and taught him what it means to be more than just an athlete, but to be a winner, to be a technician. And now, while his pressure is still extremely heavy and his cardio still needs a lot of work, we've seen that he has the power and the speed to put away almost anyone. Will that continue tonight with his biggest, toughest challenge to date? Well, we'll have to see. The fight is about to get underway. Let's get to it. Desi with a little bit of crowd show. Let's go, Desi. Let's go, Desi. All right, game plan is simple. Keep it on the feet. Outstrike Maderos. Don't get too aggressive if nothing is working. If he's blocking a lot of our strikes, then we know we cannot expend all of our cardio just throwing big strikes. We've got to mix it up here. Going heavy with the high kick twice, showing that knee just to let Maderos know if you come in, you will eat a body strike. Oof, and then one to the body just for good measure. Partially blocked there. Some good hooks, some good straights. Outside with the leg kick. 
that's one thing we are working on right now with desi is getting those leg kick setups if we go low then it'll open up the high kick um and the roundhouse which is what he prefers just barely out of distance on uh madero's his spinning heel kick and another high kick lands yance he's got to get his defense up here desi is just having a field day with these high kicks and another right hook there and yancey good to the body there startles De desi excuse me for just a second desi is letting everything go and he's rocked him with the overhand left Yancey's got to keep his hands up here. He is just eating and absorbing every single strike from Desi. Oh, and he goes for the jumping, the, the flying knee and gets caught with a head kick. That might be it. Oh, no. Yancey survives. Yancey has survived. Okay. And Desi lets him up. No need to go to the ground. The ground game is not that strong yet. Oh, good spinning body kick there. And another push kick to the liver. That's going to slow Desi down. Another high kick. Yancey is hurt again. He's got to get his hands up. Yancey might want to look for a takedown here because Desi is just having a field day. He is teeing off on him. Oh, and another huge left hand. Yancey's got to he's got to pull guard here. Oh, and that's going to be it. That's going to be it. Desi with another knockout in his UFC debut. If that's not how you make a statement in your UFC debut, I don't know what to tell you. And he bows to the crowd, showing a little bit of respect. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. And let's take a look at some of his handiwork here. All started with those high kicks and those overhand lefts, those right hooks. Everything just added up. The pressure was too much for Yancey, and he ends up on his back getting knocked out by some vicious ground strikes and now we'll get the official decision and make it official <laughs> if i say official one more time we'll make it official make this ufc debut victory official for desi the merciless martin congratulations young man welcome to the ufc i don't know about everybody else but i am excited to see where he goes next getting a performance bonus there of 50,000 as well you really can't make a UFC debut any better than that